So today I'm going to take you on a bit of a radioactive mineral odyssey. I saved the best mineral for last, so be sure to watch the whole thing. If you like what you see, click like, click subscribe. Let's go rock hounding. So where I am right now, I'm averaging about 15 counts per minute average. Let's see what these minerals do. First up, zircons from the Sarnak zircon mine. So I got a bunch of zircons I found a few years back at the Sarnak zircon mine. Let's test them to see if they're radioactive. Background radiation where I am, maybe 10 to 20 counts per minute at most. Let's see what these crystals can do. And the sun is back out. Fifty three counts per minute. I think at one point it was up around sixty five counts per minute. So again, it's four to five times background radiation. Very mildly radioactive zircons from the Sarnak zircon mine. Next up, apatite from the Schickler fluorite mine. So here are the apatite crystals from the Schickler fluorite occurrence. Uh, there is radioactives in that area, so a lot of the apatite crystals are super mildly radioactive, but uh, let's check it out. Let's see what they can do. Again, background, 10, 15, maybe 20 where I am at most. As you can see, it is picking them up, 54 counts per minute. 81 counts per minute, so they are mildly radioactive. Appetite from the Schickler Flory mine. 81 counts per minute. Again, that's, you know, six, seven, eight times background radiation, so. Ooh, 93 counts per minute. <laughs> uh. Still under 100 counts per minute though, but that's not bad. On to the next mineral. Third up, alanite. So here's a close up of that, what I believe is an alanite crystal from uh, the barrel pit. Let's test it and see if it's radioactive. Next up, I have some alanite from the barrel pit in Quadville. Picked this up a few weeks back. I believe it's mildly radioactive. There might be some yuxanite mixed in there as well. Let's see what the meter says here. Alanite crystal from the barrel pit, mildly radioactive. But next, we're on to the good crystals. I got better stuff to show you. Oh, there it goes. Now it's starting to go up there. Must be the sweet spot. 86. 100 counts per minute. Alanate from the barrel pit. Yep, I think that's about the max it's going to go. So, on to the next mineral. So now on to the good stuff. A co-worker of mine mentioned he had one of those mineral sample kits you'd pick up as a kid that you'd get in a museum. Had like 20 various minerals on it, little samples, some calcite, fluorite, apatite, silver, on and on. But then he mentions it had uranium listed on there, more specifically autunite. So I told him, well, I got my radiation detector, bring it in and uh, let's see how hot it is. So here is the video of that. I hope you enjoy it. Background radiation, 20 counts per minute. counts per minute, 500 counts per minute, 900, <laughs> 14, <laughs> almost getting a bit nervous here, 1500 counts per minute, 1800, 
Well, you're right on it. Let me put the lid back on. We're almost hitting 2,000 counts per minute. I'm never going to have children. <laughs> so you wouldn't think that uranium would be in a mineral set designed for kids, but it is from the 1960s, so I guess the times were different back then. Here's another video clip of that specimen. Four thousand counts per minute on uranium. Mildly entertaining. So first off, I wanted to mention that in no way does this video represent the best way to handle radioactive materials. Two. Not all the apatite at the Schickler fluorite occurrence was radioactive. In all these minerals I showed you, as soon as I pulled the detector even a tiny bit away from the mineral, the counts per minute went drastically down. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and I will see you on the next adventure.